Hey, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to automate filling in web forms with Python. This video accompanies this much longer blog post below and the links below. If you're on YouTube right now, the links below, but to this blog post, um, where we show step-by-step -step how to scrape data out of a PDF and then how to automate it using JavaScript and a form. So the good news is if you wanted to see the completed example, you can do that by clicking on completed Python script and download it and just get going. In this video, I'm going to show you what that is at that higher level, like how to just start using it. And then if you want an in-depth, you know, analysis of like how to, how we did it, how we built it, and then how maybe to modify it, you can look at this post and we'll show you step-by-step -step how we built it. It'd be a great project if you're getting started learning Python to kind of play with this a little more and get into the nitty gritty of it. So what are we going to build in this project? So it's in two steps. The first step is if you've ever had a form, right? Like this, uh, where you have data coming in, maybe it's your taxes, maybe, I don't know, you're doing real estate or some kind of business thing where customers are filling out PDFs like this. Um, sometimes it can be annoying to go through all of this stuff and kind of like copy and paste it, right? And then like paste it into something. Um, so the good news is if the form has been set up correctly, uh, there's ways that you can just scrape all the data out of the form and, you know, maybe put it in a spreadsheet or put it in, I don't know, an online form or even in, in, a, um, in a submission form like we're about to do like this. Um, but back to the form. So, uh, so yeah, so we have all this data in a form and this would be uh, a really cool thing to do. And that's what we're going to do with Python. So how do we do that? The way we do that in this project is using this Python script here that we created. So we created this Python script and in, again, in this video, I'm not going to go break down how we did it. You can look at the blog post for that, but what we would do to just run it would be if you come into the folder, right? Uh, we are basically going to just find the folder. And also if you don't know what I'm doing right now, if this black box is confusing, this is called the command line. And I'll put a link down below for a command line crash course. That's free that I teach that you can get caught up on the command line. So you're going to need to know some command line stuff. If not stop and go learn that right now. But once you're on the command line and in the folder, you can basically just go into the folder here and run that script. I'm going to do it using Python three just like this. And it runs that script, which extracts the data from the PDF. And it lets me know, Hey, I have all the data from the PDF in this case right here. Right? So this is a good first step, but it's not enough to actually do something meaningful with meaningful enough with. Whereas in this case, what I really want to do is put that data into my form. So what happens when I run that script here is it's not only showing me that it did grab the data, but the way that we wrote the script is that it's also, well, that's the final answer, but it's also making this text form or really rather filling in this text form with some JavaScript, right? So the Python is actually generating some JavaScript and what we can do with the JavaScript. And this is the final step here is go to the web inspector. You can do that by clicking inspect right here in your Chrome browser and going to console and pasting in the JavaScript. And what that will do is it will run this JavaScript. And when I run the JavaScript, you see it fills in the form, right? So that's basically what this project does. Again, to kind of recap what's going on here, we created a script that really it extracts the data from a PDF. And then what do you do with that? In this case, we are, our final application was to fill out this online form, you know, maybe to update a database or whatever we're doing with it. And so we generated some JavaScript that then takes that, that we can run through the console and fill out our form. So it makes our life a lot easier. I worked on this project with Eduardo Fritas, who lives in the Netherlands. He's a really great developer. And together we put together this blog post and the final script that you can download and try for yourself. So I hope you enjoy that. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. Uh, we have courses at one month.com that teach Python and command line. If you need anything, anything about the basics of getting started and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Good luck.